The secret is out. Rudy is no longer confused. Am I in love with the man? No, it's actually a girl. Although Sophie's affirmation of, I'm really a man. And she runs away. Very masculine. Now, what's going to happen here? Because while the identity of her gender has been disclosed, we still don't really know who Fitz really is. And will Rudy realize, oh, the wand, the gift from season one. Like, he's got to realize. Although Sophie does have different hair color, I really wonder if he'll recognize her. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, no. My man's been pumping it. How many times did you not last time? Yeah? <laughs> and? How many times did you not? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought I'm not under the assumption that Rudy was jacking off like 17 times last night so he couldn't get any sleep. Oh, it's Luke again. Did it need a reason? It did not even fuck Luke or no? For the sake of Cliff. I'm afraid to challenge you? He's being too nice. No fucking shot Luke can beat Rudy. Nah, I bet Luke feels intimidated by Rudy too, to a certain extent. Yeah, he's just being very, you know, passive, less confrontational. Your gender has been revealed. It's trouble? Oh, it really was the princess disguised as Sophie in the market then? Yes. I'm a man! Runs away. Yo, where's this network? Who's the little bird? <laughs> Maybe you should have had some kind of fake dick for Fitz, you know? Wait, is Fitz getting fired right now? You wouldn't fire Fitz, right? Reveal identity. And exactly, our cause, you know? The princess needs Rudy. It's coming to a boiling point. She's saying everything what we're saying, we're thinking right now for the past season. Please, just do it. Oh my god, the princess is just straight up telling her, bro, disclose your name. Are you still embarrassed? What if Rudy doesn't remember me? True. And now I want to help a friend. Damn. This has huge implications for the future, too. Imagine when she's queen one day. And what will Sophie be? Like, if we start like this, like... The ties to royalty and friends like this networking is crucial for the future, isn't it? Confess. Not to the princess. No, not Yuri. No, I mean, I'll be down, but... You know, to Rudy. Here we go. Here we go. Is this the episode? Will this be the episode? Yeah. <laughs> Sophie's gonna go to her own erectile dysfunction arc. If Rudy says, who are you? Uh, the time that we took a bath together and then Rudy realized, oh, you're a girl. You can't just dye her hair color green, right? Really? That over the bath scene where he made you cry? Maybe she wants to forget about that. Bath scene. Bath scene. Mm -hmm. Just like this again. This is round two because Rudy thinks that Sophie... I mean, Fitz is a boy. Not really anymore, but you know. This is round two of that. Yep. So are we going to a bath scene then? <laughs> Look at her say that! Oh, he pulled my panties down. Oh, he forced me to take a bath while blushing. And then... Oh my god, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> she's blushing like she's enjoying it so much, but if you understand the context of what's being said, it's like, what the fuck? Let's set up a bath scene. Set up a bath scene, round two. A intimate romantic one, right? Like, you know, monogamy. Although, I don't think that'll happen. Maybe? <laughs> I'm trying to fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to put in me? <laughs> How many do you want to put in? <laughs> Sylvie! You damn bad! Look at Princess's face! Oh my god, Sylvie, your imagination! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, the princess is realizing how unhinged Sylvie is. <laughs> What's she doing there? And her imagination goes wild. Like, it's not that serious, but it is serious. That's hilarious, the way the princess is looking at Sophie, like, damn. You're, you're fucking mentally unwell. Oh? Ah, we wouldn't do it in public like this. Where's Rudy? Bodyguardy! 
I love how Body Gotti just like hangs out with Rudy. He just stares at Rudy. Whenever he's training too, he just stands there and he just stares at Rudy. Like, what is what is he doing? He's just admiring Rudy? Like what? There we go. I'll do anything for you. <laughs> A flying fortress? How about Perugius' castle? Okay, so is the plan to get the flower and somehow that'll be what we used to raise him up? It's not going according to her plan. I'm supposed to show you. <laughs> You're kind of just explaining the, pl the plot. Sophie is so cute, getting pushed like this. No, Rudy, just you. Just you, you and me. Yeah. My man, you're being so dense. Just you two, one on one. There we go. So, one on one date in the forest. Something about the flower. What kind of plan does she have in mind? Maybe, maybe there'll be like a hot spring, a natural hot spring around, and they'll get naked, and it'll be bath scene round two. Maybe not. I'm just thinking of that one scene in Game of Thrones of Jon Snow and that, you know, Egret. Pay with what? Pay with what, though? Hmm? <laughs> Bye, Rudy, man, you're getting flushed over that? <laughs> Sophie's so cute. Whoa. Yeah, this would be so useful during winter time when you don't want to. Wow, it's not their head height? God damn. It was a nice gift that may or may not have caused the Mana disaster. <laughs> you know, this is from Eris, but... Yeah, the beginner's one. Gee, I wonder where it's from. You sure you want to hold a staff that's from another girl at your direct competition? Mm, so thick and burly. Oh yeah, you double gripping that shit, uh-huh. Yeah, nice shaft, right? <laughs> what is the plan? What is she doing? Okay, you took a stab. Now what? The ring. Hmm? Rain somehow? Then we get wet. Then we gotta take our clothes off and be in a cave where we have to huddle together. What's going on? <laughs> Watch Rudy dispel it. He's cleared a blizzard before. Wait, 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 Rudy, what are you gonna do? No! No, don't do it! <laughs> She's intensely trying to make it rain, but Rudy's like, nah, I got this, Fitz, don't worry. Oh? <gasps> we better go find shelter. Sophie used like everything there, right? Look how she tired she is. Great. Now we have an excuse to go to some shelter and huddle up. Uh-huh. Okay, all according to plan. One-on-one -on -one time. Make a little fire. Oh, it's getting so cold. I'm getting hypothermia, Rudy. Oh, we better cuddle up now. Sure, body heat. This is going to get good. Perfect. I wonder if Sophie scouted this cave like to make sure there was a place ready. Now, what would be even better is if this cave had like a underwater, underground, like mineral hot spring or some shit. It's like a bath round two, you know? Bro, you're so smart, but so stupid at the same time. You're so dense, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yeah, she's tense because she's the one doing it! Okay. Rudy, I'm still so cold. Will you cuddle up with me? Hmm. I'll just take it off, bro. Nah, it's fine, it's fine! What's Fitz doing? Is she naked? What's she doing? What's she doing? Hypothermia! But she's faking it! She's faking it! Maybe she intentionally caused hypothermia in herself so that Rudy has to like bundle up with her, bro. This is some next level of commitment. Sophia is so down bad, she would willingly get hypothermia. Holy shit. No one's told Edina, do you say that? Hey, 
This is kind of reminding me of Danmachi in season four. Well, Beryl and Ryu, you know, they were in like an underwater, under, underwater, underground cave water kind of situation too, remember? And they were cuddling. Is that going to happen? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Sophie, come on, make a move. Come on, it's time! A private room. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, oh. What is it? Yes, she's intentionally trying to cause hypothermia, so you'll have to cuddle up. Oh, I can't do it myself, Rudy. I'm so weak. Yeah, I'll die. I'm so down bad. I'm willing to risk my life for this right now. You better do something. <laughs> do it. Take it off. Here we go. Rudy, you cannot be dense enough that you will not take this chance, right? Please, she's telling you. Rudy, don't fuck it up. Do not cause Sarah round two, please. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Rudy, please, I'm actually gonna die. Come on, strip me. Here we go. Take the glasses off first, bro. Take the fucking glasses off. Okay. Jacket. Uniform? Shirt? Is there a bra underneath? Season 1, bro, remember! Hmm. That's right, the memories are coming back. Yes! Yes! And remember the wand! The trainer wand! Oh, that belly button, I remember that belly button from season 1, too. Oh, shit! What color is it? The panties, I mean, the panties, okay? Oh, it's just white. Damn, this is so intimate. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Should I be watching this? The glasses! Glasses. Watch Rudy take the panties off instead of the glasses. <laughs> oh shit! The moment! We've been waiting three months for this! Well? Who is it, Rudy? Uh-huh. Mm, mm. Sophie. Holy shit, it's out, it's out! He remembered! <gasps> Three fucking sips! Months, I mean. Wow. Damn, the reunion. Who's Eris, by the way? We forgot about Eris. We're all on Team Sophie now. Yeah, I don't even know when the fuck season one aired, but that was a long time ago. This shit's been like two years in the making, right? A kiss? Oh god, I thought a kiss was coming. Straight of confession! It's over! This is the ship! But what's Rudy gonna say? No! Give me the answer! I've always loved you. I want to stay with you forever. This is a fucking confession. Straight up. But what's Rudy gonna say? You know this motherfucker is gonna fuck it up somehow. Like, what if he brings up Eris here? What if he says something like, My heart still belongs to this fucking fiery tsundere demon. I swear to God, if he fucks this up next episode, you know he's gonna fuck it up! He always does! He he always gets fucking just softballs, little fucking underthrows just, just served up to him, just a perfect thing, and then he just fucking just throws it away. You know he's gonna fuck this show. I hope he doesn't. If he doesn't, I'll be so proud of him in the last, next episode. But because we just had a cliffhanger like this, and because next episode is the season finale, oh, please, please don't fuck it up. Please don't fuck it up. But at the very least, reunion has happened. The identity is out. The secret is out. But hey... If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. Until next time, take care.